had to erase that last one. Um, trying to kill some gross grossness that was around here. But um, yeah, for those who were able to, um, I can never get my eyes to look right at the camera. Anyways, um, for those of you who were able to watch the one o'clock a.m. live, thank you. Um, I'm super tired. I'm still a little bit tired, but to keep me from falling asleep again, I decided to do this live and we're getting ready to go celebrate our uncle, one of our favorite uncles, um, Uncle Duke Tangaloa. Um, he's turned 60 and so I'm going to get to see my sisters that I posted about last week. Um, and yeah. And so, just to go off of last night's, or this morning's, um, this morning's live and what I didn't cover, which was, um, the subject on, so I was talking about, I'm not even going to try to remember what I was talking about, but it was mainly about our activity last night, uh, the mid-singles Polynesian activity, and, um, one thing that I was thinking of right before I was starting this was um, the subject of surrendering. Surrendering um, and what that feels like and what that looks like when you do it properly. Somebody is boycotting Chick-fil-A. Anyways, sorry. Um, but what it feels like to surrender. So I went through less than 24 hours. Um, we went through the activity. I had some things go down and um, and it didn't work out the way I wanted it to work out, but it it taught me how, how important it is to surrender to Heavenly Father's will. Um, and I've talked a lot, a lot, a lot throughout my life about Heavenly Father, um, throughout these lives and throughout anything I touch or try to spread. Heavenly Father is always, aside from Brother Gual, he's always the main subject. And, um, and so when I decided to surrender to this uh, circumstance that I found myself in I I understood like finally I mean you would have thought I would have understood this principle like long time ago but I finally understood that when we do surrender to Heavenly Father in letting go of what we want and actually truly doing what he wants um, he if we're listening and if we're allowing ourselves to pay attention, he is really protecting us. We might not see um, the big picture. Um, we probably just see like the corner of that big picture. Um, but when we step back and really surrender um, to what he needs us to do and what he wants us to do, um, not only does that bring such great protection but it does um it does increase our our um it increases our confidence in ourselves and the way we make choices um the way we bounce back from maybe making bad choices and not losing that momentum of trust in heavenly father is this oh, okay sister hola Kaufusi. um so yeah so i i mean and hence why i posted that song by um, beyonce about ego like i think it's okay to to check your ego like and that was what was brought to my attention, just how big my ego is on certain things. Um, 
and Heavenly Father put a quick uh, shutdown on that ego. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, okay. So you want me to do that and you don't want me to do that. Okay, awesome. That's great. But yeah, so if you're struggling out there with your ego um, and you try to compensate after like not getting what you want and so you try to compensate and like not feeling the feels like sister carol will would always advise us like don't try to push um like if you're feeling sad don't try to push that away feel it own it and then let it process through and then eventually you'll be able to let go but if you force yourself to try to let go of the sadness or um, the disappointment, setback, whatever, you're just making that process longer. And so that's what I've been learning, relearning in the last 24 hours is that um, humility and surrendering to Heavenly Father is so necessary to really be happy. I was listening to this other motivational speaker, I forgot his name, but he was just like, we do more damage to ourselves um, on a daily by not asking Heavenly Father and not counseling with him about our life than we could ever do if we would just turn to him and and in the small language, like, oh, feel poco. Like, if we would stop trying to feel poco, and try to counsel him. Um, if we stop trying to feel buckle and think we know everything when re in reality he's set out this plan for us, we agreed to the plan, and yet we act like we were the ones who wrote up the plan or the blueprint to life. And so I'm learning slowly but surely, but it was um, empowering to understand that surrendering, surrendering is more beneficial than uh, forcing things, forcing situations, forcing um, like our own personal wants over what Heavenly Father needs us to do. And so, yeah, so I'm happy that I got that. Um, checked off not so much mastered but checked off in my mind of how to walk through that light of surrendering um and now i get to go and spend time with our family so that is the gem of the day everybody is surrender um and in surrendering it'll be easier to let go of whatever pains that you're experiencing um Don, our friend Don Armstrong that spoke last night, she talked about like stop hiding, like stop hiding your vulnerabilities, stop hiding. If you love somebody, stop hiding. Um, if you're upset with somebody, like freedom comes from speaking up um, and not hiding. But when we hide ourselves, our true selves from people, because we're worried we're going to lose people. All we do by doing that is lose ourselves. And um, I know for a fact that nothing is worth losing yourself. Um, you can come back from it if you allow yourselves to find the help and surround yourselves around the good people that want to see you come back and um, triumph from whatever that is that you've um, allowed yourself to um be caged in and imprisoned, um, but it won't happen unless you surrender and then unless you're humble. So I hope you guys have a happy Friday. Um, our love and condolences to our Alo family uh, with the loss of, not loss, but with the passing of Rob, Rob Alo. Um, we love you guys. You guys are in our prayers. And you guys watching, always on my mind. Love you guys. Hope everything that you 
are supposed to have comes your way.